I'm going to uh, begin with just asking if uh, you were a big fan of Lego when you were growing up, if it was something that you used to play a lot as a kid. I did. I played a lot of Lego uh, when I was a kid. So I played it until I was quite, I, I should have been not playing it anymore. And then, and then of course, I have my own two sons. So I've, I've quite literally spent my lifetime playing with Lego. So what, is, is that the main thing you think that drew you to getting involved in the, in the Lego films? Well, uh, of course, I was very familiar with it because I played with it a lot and, and really enjoy it. But also, Phil Lord and Chris Miller, uh, who wrote and directed the first one, is how I how I came to be part of it. You're right, the humor is so integral uh, mm. to these films. I mean, why do you think they're so important to to the, to the kind of Le Lego franchise and particularly the the Batman movies? There's so many superhero films out now that are pretty humorless. All they can really do is just kind of out action each other and just do more and more implausible sequences that end with slow-mo and is he, isn't he going to blow up the planet Mars or whatever it is. The, the, the humor is really coming out of telling, still telling the story. It's not just throw out sort of one-off jokes, but actually in character and on story. And uh, I think we've, you know, in this sort of Lego world, we've done a pretty good job of finding that. Because I mean, they're incredibly cross-generational. What would, I mean, what do you think it is about these films that have this appeal to adults and parents, and sorry, adults and kids it's alike? Just, it's not pandering to kids. It's not a kids movie per se. It's a family movie in the sense that everybody in the family can enjoy it on some level. And I want to know, did you get a sore throat for making this movie? Because you had that kind of gruff Batman voice the whole way through. By the end of it, you must have just needed a few strepsils. Well, yeah, I mean, I didn't do it all in one day. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I did it over the course of uh, many days over two years. Uh, you know, and we just we just did our last session uh, a few weeks ago. I, I now the only I've, the only criticism I've got of this movie is I worry now if I go back and watch Batman, I'm not going to enjoy it as much because I don't think I'm going to be able to take it seriously. Yeah. Have you watched any superhero films since making this, and have you found your relationship with the genres change at all? Yeah, I haven't really watched any superhero movies. Uh, in this new wave of superhero films that have come about, and it was really led by Marvel, and the first one that kind of led this renaissance was uh, uh, Iron Man. And one of the things that people really responded to, if you remember in Iron Man, was uh, Downey did such a great job of, he did infuse some humor into, into Iron Man. Brilliant, well thanks so much for your time today. Cheers man. Much appreciated. Thank, Thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!